Okay, we are going to do a little Ulta and Sephora mini haul um, using the gift cards that I got for Christmas. Okay, I'm going to start off with Sephora. But before I start, I just want to say, guess, okay, I got three products. Guess how much they were. One of them isn't a full-size product. One of them is a mini. $70. $70. Oh, no, actually, two things are minis. <laughs> it's getting ridiculous out here, but is that going to stop me? No, I'm going to still buy it anyways. Okay, I'm really excited. This is the first thing I got. Is the 68 Brazilian Crush little perfume. Um, this is the mini because I don't know how long it lasts. So I, I wanted to get the small to see um, before I get the big one. But I freaking love it and I'm so excited. I'm going to add it to my little pink perfume collection. Okay, next thing I got was the Pillow Talk lip liner because everybody and their mom has it. I'm actually going to try it right now because maybe everybody and their mom is over-exaggerating. So let's see. Stop because I already love it. Look at that. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try it on my arm. That is buttery as heck. Let, let's put that away already. Hold on. That's really freaking buttery. Holy crap. I'm used to like my little like $1 like freaking, it feels like sandpaper on my lips. Hold on. Okay, I'm so sorry. I went on a rant about like everything else. Um, But I got the mini hula bronzer because my sister has a mini and it's lasted her for a year. So I just stuck with the mini also. Okay, yes, all of that was literally $70. Just those three things. Like, this is ridiculous. This is not even the size of my hand. Okay, next is Ulta. Okay, so the first thing I got, I already used, but these were like under eye patches and they were like only $3, so I got some. Next thing I got, because I like to mix this with telescopic, um, is this Essence Bye Bye Panda Eyes Mascara. I don't know, it's really good though. It was like 5 bucks. Next, I got the ColourPop um, Lippy Stick thing in Oh Snap. And then last, I got an eyebrow pencil. Even though I don't really need it, I think I kind of like want to start trying to learn how to do my brows. So, yeah. Okay, and those were the overly priced six things that I got. But I could die tomorrow, but at least I'll look pretty and I'll smell good. So, uh, it's fine. Anyways, I love you. Just spent way too much money at Sephora, so let's do a haul. Also, the guy at Sephora just fully called me out. He was like, why do you want this product? Did you just see it on TikTok? Do you even know what it is? I was like, yeah, it's fine. We laughed about it. We're all good. He did end up selling me on the product, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. And I have seen it all over TikTok and that is why I bought it. But he also told me that it's very dewy, very light, very glowy. And I was like, that is everything that I'm looking for. I have very dry skin. I want glowy. So perfect. He helped batch my foundation. I got it in the shade um, three, fair pale. He also sold me on the Charlotte Tilbury uh, setting spray, the airbrush flawless setting spray. He said, it's amazing. It helps your makeup stay on really long. I trust this man with my whole life now, apparently. And he also sold me on the entire Pillow Talk Charlotte Tilbury beautifying lip kit. It has a liner, a lipstick, a gloss, and something else, I forget. So I said on here before that I am trying to learn how to do my makeup this year. I wanna actually know how to do it and like get the right products because for the longest time I've just been using the randomest things and I, I wanna look good, I wanna feel my best, you know? So I basically just wanted to get like every single product that I needed, like the whole thing to start from the ground up. This product was not on my list, but I have heard great things about it. It's the Say, I don't know how to say this brand, Say, Say, um, Glowy Super Gel. I just got the mini because I wanna try it out and yeah, I'm excited to try it. For bronzer, I got the Tarte Bronzer. The lady at the checkout was like, oh my God, it's such a classic. I was like, okay, good, I did good. Then I got the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in Banana Bread. I didn't get blush, mascara, eyeliner, or eyeshadow because I think I'm good in that area. I like the mascara that I have and I, I think I'm fine. I got the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Truffle for contouring. I really wanted to get the Charlotte Tilbury contour, but they're out of my color, which is really sad, but it's okay. Then I got the Kosas Concealer. I guess the shade is Revealer, I have no idea. Also heard amazing things about this. I feel like I cannot go on this app without seeing somebody rave about it. So I'm hoping it lives up to its reputation. And then last but not least, I got highlighter from Benefit in the shade Cookie. And the lady at the checkout was like, oh my gosh, this is the best highlighter. Cause I was between this one and the Tarte one and she was like, no, 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 go with the Benefit. I was like, oh, thank you. So stay tuned for Get Ready With Me because I really want to try out all these products. Guys, I have a massive Sephora haul. I'm only kidding. I actually just put everything I ordered online in this Sephora bag, but this bag is filled to the brim. So I have a fat haul. Okay, so first thing I got is the Charlotte Tilbury powder. I've been needing a new powder for a while and I got this one in the shade Fair Pale and the packaging. This is my second thing from Charlotte Tilbury. I only have their mini ones. I looked at the medium shade in store, but it looked quite yellow, so I got this one. Okay, then from Glow Recipe, I got the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sunscreen. 
I've been needing a new sunscreen because Matilda swears by like, using a sunscreen every day, but I don't, which is quite bad. So I got the SPF 50 watermelon one. I'm just going to see. I can't really smell. Got this in time for the summer and I just love their packaging. Okay, then from Junk Elephant, I got the Be Hydro Intensive Serum to go with my moisturizer. I literally love the packaging of this. And now I can make like my proper skincare smoothies. Okay, then I got the Dior Concealer. I'm just seeing this all over TikTok, so I had to get it. I got the shade 2N and I really love like the app here. It's like a brush. It's so cool. I'm gonna do a video trying all this out on my YouTube and my TikTok. Then the next thing I got is the Caudalie spray. I don't know where I saw this. It might have been on like a Vogue Beauty Secrets, but it smells of a spa. But it's in like a glass bottle and it feels so bougie. I'm gonna spray some. Oh my God, it smells so good. Then I just got a restock of my ordinary, oh my God, of my ordinary hyaluronic acid. Then I got the Rare Beauty powder highlight to go with my liquid one because I literally love the packaging. And I got this one in the shade Mesmerize because it looked the closest to Enchant. And I'm gonna put a bit on my cheeks. Wait, how glowy. I just love like clicking these products. Then also from Charlotte Tilbury, I got the big flawless setting spray. No, airbrush setting spray. It's massive. I sprayed some before and it feels so like refreshing on your skin. I managed to get this as well on like offer. Okay, next thing I got is the Refi Primer. I've wanted to try this for ages. It's like the one with the little roller thing on. I used it this morning. It feels so like fancy. I don't know what's in it. It's like a serum I'll put on your face. I think it's got hyaluronic acid as well. And then I got the Makeup by Mario Blush Stick. I got this in the shade Raspberry because it looks gorge. I'm like, look, wait, that's the brush. And then on the other end, it's got the blush. How nice. Obviously, it looks quite red now, but I think when you put it on your skin, it goes quite pink. Then I just got a little mini Benefit Hula Bronzer. I needed a new bronzer for school, so you guys suggested this. Got telescopic mascara. Merit also gifted me these two things. A bronze stick and a lip oil. I'm also going to do a full impressions video of trying all this stuff out, but that Hi guys, I have a huge Sephora haul. This bag is like overflowing with stuff. Okay, I obviously didn't get all of this in one trip because I'd be really broke, but I'm super excited to show you all of the stuff that I got. I went to Sephora so many times this month, so I think I need to take a break even though I'm going to Ulta tomorrow. Anyways, first thing I got is the iconic Glorious toner. I've had the mini version of this like five times and I finally got the big version. Yay! Next thing I got is another iconic get rid of me item. It's the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Cream and they actually had it in stock while I was in Malaysia. And now I can do get rid of me's with these two. Honestly, Drunk Elephant just has like, the coolest packaging. I'm just going to use some of this because I just wasted the product. Oopsie. Okay, moving on. I also got the Rare Beauty Liquid Highlighter. Oops, I got it in the shade Enchant. And it's actually, when I tried it out, it's so glittery. I didn't know it was so glittery and my Rare Beauty powder highlight is broken so I'm really excited to try that. Okay, look at this really pretty shade. I'm so happy I got this. Let me just swatch it. Okay, I'm gonna test it. Oh my god, it's so shiny. I to see it on camera but I'm really obsessed with this. I'm trying to move fast because I got so much stuff. Anyways, next is this Fenty Beauty Lip Stain. I got this because of Erica Titus, by the way, because she uses this. It's in the shade Berry Banger. And you kind of just put this on the inside of your lips to get that, like, gradient. So I'm really excited to use this. I actually bought so many lip products this past month. I think I'm turning into a lippy girl, even though I'm wearing nothing right now. Anyways, this next product is also from Fenty Beauty. It's the cream blush in the shade Summertime Wine. I absolutely love this shade. When I tried it out in store, it was so pretty. I'll try it out later. Next, I got the Makeup by Mario Crystal Reflector, which is like always sold out in store. So I got it online and it's so 
pretty. Hold on. Look at that. I'm so excited to use it. I finally, finally got my hands on this. It's the Huda Beauty powder in the shade Cherry Blossom. I'm not sure how to open it. Hold on. Yeah, I just used my nail to like rip it open. Oh my god. Look at this. This will be like my first time trying pink powder and I'm really scared but I really do hope I love it since I've heard so many good things about this powder and I never just got to try it. I'm so glad I got this 10 minute feature because it's been 3 minutes already but I'm still going. Anyways, next thing I got is this hourglass bronzer which was expensive. This one hurt. This was really painful. But guys, look at the inside. It's so pretty. Was it worth it? I don't know because I feel like it's too light for me. But look at this. I really wanted to get the blush too because the blush is super pretty too. It has this pattern. I don't know why, but I'm literally obsessed with this. Another thing that is always sold out is the Rare Beauty Under Eye um, Brightener in the shade Light Medium. I'm so excited to try this. I literally can never find the shade in store, so I got it online. I'll probably have to make another video of me trying out these products, but another thing I got from Fenty Beauty is the Gloss Bomb Heat in Hot Chocolate, and I will probably make a whole set of videos with just the lip products that I bought, because I'm super excited to try them all out. Okay, we're nearing the end, but I got the Iconic. Dior Backstage Face Palette in 001 Universal. Look at those. I'm just ruining the packaging, but I don't care because I got this one in Japan. Not at a Sephora, but at a Cosme, but it's gonna be in my Sephora haul. This was actually a lot cheaper in Japan, so I had to get my hands on it because it's always sold out in Sephora, but these colors are so pretty. I realize I just got like three highlighters, but I don't care. Okay, last thing is this Nude Sticks um, blush, bronze, and glow thing. I don't know, but I really love the packaging of Nude Sticks. I never really got to try out the shades, so I'm really... Oh my god. Okay, I just ripped it open because it's so hard to get out. This is my first Nude Sticks product, but I really... Oh my god. Look at these. These are so mini. Hold on, let me swatch these. Okay, these are the swatches. They're so pretty. And I think they were honestly so worth it. Anyways, that's my Sephora haul. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. And I have a haul to do. So I went to Sephora. Um, and they were literally out of stock of everything that I wanted. But it's because I wanted, like, all the stuff that, like, everyone has. So I was, like, expecting to be out of stock. So I'm going to check online. So hopefully I have a makeup haul coming online soon. But anyway, let's start with what I got at Sephora because I did find some pretty good finds. So, okay, first we're going to start with this. I bought the mini version and oh my goodness. It's so good. And I got it because Alex Earl, Earl got it. And I like love my lashes. So I had to get it in the bigger version. And yeah, I look you love it. Okay, guys. And then next. Oh, wait, should I do this last? No, I didn't get that much. Okay, so next. So there's this hair mask that i think alex earl uses and i forget her name but she's another girl i follow that like knows alex earl i literally love her too but she i've seen like many people use this and said that they love it and i literally have to get it it's this k18 it's a leave-in hair mask repair and just everyone says it's like so amazing and i'm so excited to try this out so we're gonna test this out and i'll let you guys know okay so i already took it out of the packaging but i got this uh Clinique. I don't know how to say this brand, but I literally have used this brand before. It's a lash serum. So basically, I've been using Rade Lash, but like I'm scared it's like, not working and just like like my lashes are falling out. Like I don't know. I'm just scared of Rade Lash. So my mom saw this one and she's like, "Let's try this one out." So I'm trying this one out. I've only used it twice, so obviously I can't see a difference. But I mean, I don't have puffy eyes at all, and it's like pretty good so far. Okay, so then I got a NARS concealer. I got a mini one, though, because it's not the shade that my mom has. It's one lighter, or that my other one has. And I want to see if it's better than the one I'm wearing right now, which I don't think it is because I like the one I have on right now, but I got to make it to try it out. It's literally, if you're looking for a concealer, this one. Literally this one. It's literally the, like, it's like, it goes on so nice. I'm obsessed. That's it. Thanks for watching.